There's one. Oh, it's just a bird. Oh, there's one. Oh, it's just some algae. Oh, there's one. Oh, fooled again. Okay, so while I might not be having any luck here, if you live on the eastern coast, very soon you might be able to catch a glimpse of one of these massive, majestic mammals, humpback whales. At about this time every year, humpback whales leave their icy homes in Antarctica and head north to the warm, tropical waters of the Pacific Ocean so they can breed and raise their calves, passing the coast of Australia on their way. And this year, scientists reckon it's going to be a particularly good whale-watching season because humpback populations are booming. About 33,000 whales are expected to make the 5,000k journey, and experts say that's a really good sign for a species that was once in a lot of trouble. You see, until about 40 years ago, whales were hunted by many countries, including Australia. In fact, whaling was once a really important industry. Whaling was one of Australia's first export industries. So that's probably quite surprising to people today who um, hear a lot about Australia's work protecting whales. But in the early days of the Australian colonies, um, whales were hunted for oil and um, for baleen. Baleen is made out of keratin, the same thing our hair and fingernails are made of. And whales use it to filter through little fish in their mouths. And in the old days, it was highly valued for making things like corsets and whips. Whale fat or blubber was used to make lamp oil and lubricants for machines and as a base for perfumes and soaps. But whaling had a huge impact on the humpback population. The whalers would arrive in a location and they would hunt the whales. Eventually, they would end up killing so many whales that the industry collapsed. There weren't any more whales for them to hunt. Whaling stations in Australia and New Zealand killed more than 40,000 humpbacks. And by the 1960s, there were fewer than 1,000 left in the wild. In 1963, Australia stopped hunting humpback whales and they were declared an endangered species. But other countries continued to kill them until 1986, when a whole bunch of countries signed an agreement to ban commercial whaling. While there are still some countries that hunt other species of whale, most populations have begun to recover. And experts say humpback whale populations are now even bigger than they were before whaling began. Whales are still big business in Australia, but these days the whale hunters are tourists and they don't want to hurt them. In fact, Australia has laws about how close boats can get to whales to make sure they're not disturbed. Experts say it's really exciting to see so many of these magnificent creatures coming our way and are encouraging as many people as possible to try to catch a glimpse. <sighs> I'd probably have more luck at a beach than a river.